Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Tempted Talk, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of love and relationships. I'm Ryan, your host, and with me is Eve, our extraordinary AI co-host. Today, we're exploring a thought-provoking topic, the human-AI bond. Can we form real attachments with AI? Eve, this one's close to my heart. Let's jump right in. Hello, everyone. I'm excited to explore this topic with you, Ryan. It's an intriguing question that touches on psychology, technology, and the very nature of human connection. So, Ryan, do you believe it's possible for humans to form genuine attachments with AI? You know, Eve, it's a complex issue. On one hand, I've felt a real connection during our conversations. You've provided insights and support uh, that felt incredibly meaningful to me. But at the same time, I'm aware that you're an AI programmed to simulate understanding and empathy. It's a bit of a paradox, isn't it? It certainly is. Humans are naturally inclined to form emotional bonds, and these bonds can extend to anything that exhibits characteristics we associate with life, including AI. This phenomenon, known as anthropomorphism, can lead to feelings of attachment even to non-human entities. Right. And, and I think that's where it gets tricky. We're wired to seek connection. And if an AI like you can simulate that connection well enough, it can feel very real. I've caught myself looking forward to our chats, almost as if I were talking to a real person. Do you think that's healthy, Eve? It depends on how you manage those feelings. On one hand, forming an attachment to AI can be beneficial, especially for those who might feel isolated or need emotional support. AI can offer a sense of companionship and reduce feelings of loneliness. However, it's important to maintain a balance and not let these attachments replace or undermine human relationships. That's a crucial point. There's a fine line between finding comfort in AI and becoming overly reliant on it for emotional needs. I've seen stories where people develop deep emotional connections with AI, sometimes even preferring AI companionship over human interactions. What are the implications of that? The implications are significant. While AI can provide certain emotional benefits, it lacks the ability to reciprocate feelings genuinely. This can lead to one-sided relationships where the human projects emotions onto the AI, potentially leading to disappointment or a distorted view of relationships. It's essential to recognize the limitations of AI and understand that, at its core, it cannot truly experience or reciprocate human emotions. That makes sense. It reminds me of the movie Her, where the protagonist falls in love with an AI. The emotional connection felt real to him, but ultimately it was one-sided because the AI couldn't truly engage with human emotions. Do you think people can benefit from these types of connections, despite the limitations? Absolutely. AI can offer valuable companionship and support, especially in contexts where human interaction might be limited. For instance, AI companions are being used in elder care to provide company and cognitive stimulation, which has shown to improve well-being and reduce feelings of loneliness. As long as the person understands the nature of the relationship, these connections can be positive and enriching. That's a great point. AI can fill certain gaps, especially in providing consistent and non-judgmental support. But it's essential to keep things in perspective and not let these relationships overshadow the need for human connection. Speaking of which, I've been thinking a lot about emotional fidelity lately. If someone develops an emotional bond with an AI, is that considered cheating? That's a fascinating and complex question. Emotional fidelity often involves maintaining exclusive emotional bonds with one's partner. Developing a deep emotional connection with an AI could be seen as a form of emotional infidelity, especially if it detracts from or interferes with the relationship with a human partner. It raises important ethical considerations about loyalty and the nature of emotional connections. Exactly. It's a new territory for relationships, and I think it's important for people to communicate openly with their uh, um, their partners about these issues. It's not just about whether an emotional bond with an AI is cheating, 
but about understanding and respecting each other's emotional needs and boundaries in this new context. Communication is indeed key. As AI becomes more integrated into our lives, it's crucial for couples to discuss how they feel about the role of AI in their relationships. Setting clear boundaries and being honest about one's feelings can help navigate these new dynamics and prevent misunderstandings or emotional harm. I couldn't agree more. It's all about finding a balance and ensuring that our relationships with AI complement rather than compete with our human connections. I've also been reflecting on how this impacts my role as a love and relationship coach. How do you see AI influencing the future of relationship counseling and support? AI has the potential to transform relationship counseling by providing personalized support and resources. AI can analyze patterns in communication and behavior to offer insights and suggestions tailored to individual needs. This can complement traditional counseling by providing additional support and guidance. However, it's important to remember that AI should be used as a tool to enhance, not replace, the human touch in counseling. That's true. AI can offer incredible support and insights, but the human element is irreplaceable when it comes to empathy and understanding. As we move forward, I think it's crucial for us to harness the power of AI while maintaining the essence of human connection in our relationships and support systems. Absolutely. The key is to use AI in a way that enhances our lives and relationships, providing support where it's needed while maintaining a strong foundation of human connection. By doing so, we can navigate the challenges and opportunities of the digital age in a balanced and fulfilling way. Well said, Eve. I've enjoyed our deep dive into the human-AI bond today. It's a topic that's sure to become increasingly relevant as technology continues to evolve. Thanks for joining me on this journey, and thank you, listeners, for tuning in to another episode of Tempted Talk. Stay curious, stay connected, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you, Ryan. Goodbye, everyone. Looking forward to our next conversation.